Hi, my name is Janet Stanko, and uh, I am here with Ed Candela, a former town council person here in Yankeetown, and we are here to hear about their charter amendment that is similar to Amendment 4. Ed, uh, why did Yankeetown feel it was necessary to uh, require a citizen vote on land use changes here in Yankeetown? Uh Janet, mainly for the same reason that Amendment 4 is on the ballot. Uh, we felt that uh, our town government was not in sync with uh, its citizens. Uh, there was a development that had been going, uh, being proposed that increased the uh, town attendance at public meetings from four on average to about 200 people showing up, voicing their opposition to uh, changing the uh, town's uh, character and its way of life through uh, 200 condos and uh, boat racks and that kind of thing. Uh, since we felt we weren't being represented, we began the process of uh, the citizen petition that's provided uh, to change our charter by state statute. Uh, if Amendment 4 had been in place, do you think you would have had to pass this charter amendment? No, I don't think so. Uh, our charter amendments uh, were also to weaken the, the mayor's position in town, who became dictatorial, but more importantly, it gave the citizens the right by the vote to uh, approve or not approve changes to the town's comprehensive plan. And how many land use changes have your citizens voted on? Well, actually, uh, since uh, those amendments went into effect, uh, there have been no landowner comprehensive plan amendments submitted, so the answer is none. However, the town itself has vastly changed its uh, comprehensive plan to uh, help solidify the town's uh, desire to keep its character and its way of life. And uh, the developers have fought that vigorously, and it took almost three years before they have been recently approved in 2010. Well, it sounds like a lot of good things have come from your charter amendment. Are there any negatives? None that I can think of. Uh, the town has uh, well received the amendments, uh, and actually there's been more compliments than complaints. Uh, so I think it's, uh, the people are aware that their way of life is uh, preserved to, to the best of possible, regardless of who the government is. And um, how does your charter amendment um, differ from Florida Hometown Democracy? Oh, we, I mentioned we had the uh, the clauses in there about the mayor's power, but uh, it, in that respect, with, with regard to hometown democracy, it's about the same. Uh, it's a citizen petition. It is the right to vote and approve or disapprove land use changes. That's uh, essentially the same. And that's why uh, we call it in the town hometown democracy. Do, uh, do your citizens vote on land use changes before or after your elected officials vote on the land use changes? It would be after. After? Well, that's very similar to Amend Amendment 4, which is yeah, why the, you the townspeople have already voted on the town's own comprehensive plan changes, and that was also approved by the usual two-to-one margin. So. And uh, do you submit a support Amendment 4? Oh, by heaven, yes. <laughs> uh, I uh, think we've seen examples uh, at the local level in our town. We've seen it in the county level, but two commissioners were committed to the bribery. We've seen it at the state level where uh, Florida beats even Illinois in terms of convicted public officials uh, for corruption. Uh, so it is money that drives the, the town's land use planning and not way of life or uh, quality of life. But so that's what Amendment 4 is about, and it's a grand way to start the process to give the citizens more of their own say in government. Well, thank you, Ed. I think those remarks are, are very helpful, and I thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome, Janet. It's been my pleasure.